Today we're going to be talking about CAD CAM automation and some feature-based technology from the guys from Tebis. Welcome, thanks for coming and tell us more about feature-based technology and some of your automation tools. Thanks for having us here today Joe. So yeah, so well, I guess first of all is why do we need automation to start with? Mm -hmm. um, so, so many companies, uh, maybe engineers are, are programming in different ways, maybe there's inconsistent qualities, programming is slow because of these things but programming things one tall path at a time okay um, and we're not getting the best use out of a out of our CAD CAM system okay uh, this is where Tevis can help you because what we what we aim to do is standardize your uh, processes uh, with automation and actually improve the quality of all the components at the same time so when you go to these facilities and you've got you got Bob in the corner, one cutting data, one tool and supply and all the rest mm -hmm. of it. And you might have Lisa next to him using different tools, different strategies. Is this to try and get away from that? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, so the first thing we try and in, in, in incorporate is our five Tevis libraries um, to control the current tools, um, the machines that we're using with all of their limits built in. And then we have the, the three automation uh, libraries, if you like. One is features, something that maybe people have heard of in the CAD CAM world where we have standardized holes, pockets. And this is something that Tebis can automate, not just from standard ruled or closed pocket features, but to fully open features and 3D features. Um, we're able to apply predefined machining strategies to these. So, and does the algorithm do that or does the engineer? If you say, oh, I want to do some advanced roughing or more traditional based roughing, who decides that, the engineer or, or the algorithm? Okay, so you can do it in both ways. Mm -hmm. um, we can do this in, a, in, in the manual way or the algorithm can take over and, and Tebis can do this. Um, also in there, the, these, these predefined manufacturing cycles could be a selection of cycles. So if we're maybe in the machining world, we want to spot drill a hole, we want to drill it, ream it, tap it. All of these things can be included in these manufacture these cycles, mm -hmm. these manufacturing so, cycles. Sorry, feature-based technology that kind of is in the automation then, isn't it? You're saying Absolutely I've, got a, this, yeah. I've got a pocket, I've got a mm -hmm. whatever the feature may be. Yeah. Uh, and one of the benefits really to Tebis on, on here is that first of all we're able to scan uh, a component and auto detect all of these features from CAD geometry. Now in Tebis we've got a library of these features and attached to these features are variables. So uh, why is this important? Because yeah, here it is on the screen now. Why is this important? Because actually the hole could be a range, let's say a curtain hole could be a range from maybe five mil to, to eight mil, okay? Um, and what Tebis can do is it can automate its machining process with variables also, so it picks the correct tool for the correct size hole automatically. And when we talk about open features and 3D features, it can do exactly the same with standardized functions. So how it sounds great, but I'm sure when Tebis lands on my desktop and I've had a bit of training, then templates aren't there. Do I have to create those templates or are they order in, in a cloud, in a library or somewhere? Okay, so first of all, yeah, we, c we can start with, we, we have um, a technology package, packages which, which can help to start with, uh, but also we have implementation uh, from, from our own people which can come and help you get these, these things set up um, when you first mm. purchase Tebis to get you working in the most efficient manner to start with. And I've read in the past about your colour-coded system. Why and how does that work? Okay, so yeah. Um, now, here what we can do is we can apply different um, surface finishes or tolerances to, to particular colours, okay? And when we apply these to the CAD geometry, um, with the feature-based technology or with standard automation, or the whole process automation, we can actually give the correct surface finish uh, and, and strategy uh, directly to these these objects, if you like, or automatically. Um, and where this is again different to, to other softwares is because Tebis has a built-in filtering system which allows us to, uh, to to link these things. So we're not just running a, an external plugin. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's all built in with the software, and and this won't break if you have new releases mm -hmm. of software. I, I don't know. Tebish, you clash yourselves as different. The, the obvious one is your CAD CAM, not just CAM. Mm -hmm. But what other what other differences do you think? You know, what other differences between you and a lot of your competition? Okay, so yeah, so the first thing we always talk about is the automation, which is what we've already mm -hmm. talked about today. 
But it's also the things that are linked to it around these five uh, library objects, which we talked about before. Uh, the, the centralized tool library, okay, is one to start with. This sounds easy, but in reality, maybe on certain softwares, we have a tool library on one PC, a tool library on a different PC, and maybe they're running out of sync. How about put it, maybe we have these located on a, on a shared server drive, so everybody gets the updated version if something is updated. The same with the machine tools. So we have virtual machine technology uh, with all of the limits built into the machine, which is used in the programming environment. So we can't actually produce a toolpath not possible in reality. Uh, all of these things build up to making a very, very stable and safe process uh, you know, to protect your business. Yeah, but for me, I see many advantages. But mm. the number one, what, number one or number, yeah, the number one benefit to me is the fact that all the collateral, the data, the information, the knowledge, that's no longer Bob and Lisa's information, is it? That's actually no. in the hub, that's the company's information. Absolutely, yeah, and, and this is really important because, you know, we, we want to have a central library in, uh, for a company to have all of this information because if we want to bring on new engineers on board, the automa automation uh, is a really fast way to get people mm -hmm. programming to that same quality in a very short amount of time. Um, and it's not just the feature-based technology which we talk about when automating. It could be a whole machining process. Um, if, if we look at a video when we see uh, the, uh, a car being machined, that whole process is completely automated with automated tilt directions. Um, but that doesn't have to be a car. It could mm -hmm. be anything, you know. Um, it could even be an extent of maybe um, stepovers, tools, these are all things that maybe programmers are using as a standard mm -hmm. in their own head. Yeah. But actually, we can set these out in a template, so actually all the programmer's mm -hmm. got to do is select data and maybe a tilt direction um, and, and have a, a tool path still uh, made very quickly to a mm -hmm. consistent quality at the same time. As easy as that. As easy as that. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. So automation, it sounds good to me. Are you going to take a look? I would. Thanks for watching.